You're listening to the REI Marketing Nerds Podcast, the leading resource for real estate investors who want to dominate their market online. Dan Barrett is the founder of AdWords Nerds, a high-tech digital agency focusing exclusively on helping real estate investors like you get more leads and deals online, outsmart your competition, and live a freer, more awesome life. And now, your host, Dan Barrett. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the REI Marketing Nerds podcast. As always, this is Daniel Barrett here from AdWordsNerds.com. And look, if you need help with your online marketing, you're a real estate investor, what are you doing? You got to go over to AdWordsNerds.com. We have a whole bunch of blogs. We've got these podcasts. We've got free resources. And of course, you can jump on a call with our team. If you're looking to do some pay-per-click advertising, some SEO, some social media, we can help you out. That's over at AdWordsNerds.com. All right, this week, I want to talk about something that is has been a really, truly, deeply impactful mental model in my life. And I'm going to call that everything you need to know to absolutely guarantee your success which is a big claim, right? If I'm going to say, look, after this podcast, and I'm going to try to make this a short one, after this podcast, you will know everything you need to know to absolutely, truly guarantee your success in any endeavor, in any endeavor. Pretty amazing. And uh, it has the benefit of being true, but it maybe is not going to be what you expect. Let's talk a little bit before we get to this success issue. We've got to take a step back and get some basic understanding on systems reliability. Systems reliability. If you're not familiar with this concept, this is something that comes up a lot. When you read about um, safety, for example, the classic sort of instance of this that most people are going to be familiar with is airline safety, aircraft safety, right? Flying through the sky in a giant metal coffin. (laughs) Uh, It's a little intimidating, I got to be honest. Uh, Every time I get on a plane, I am a little nervous. I'm one of these people that, you know, I don't freak out necessarily, but I do tend to close my eyes and kind of white knuckle it through the uh, takeoff and the landing, right? And some morbid thoughts tend to filter through my head. And I know this is irrational because... You hear all the time, well, a flight airline, you know, flying on a plane is actually safer than driving in a car for the number of people, the sheer number of people that get on planes every day and go from one place to another, traveling thousands and thousands and thousands of miles. The percentage of instances where there is a major accident, it's actually really, really small. And this is one of these kind of miracles of modern society that we just do not appreciate. I mean, it really is incredible. We as a society have come together and made this happen. And it's pretty impressive because there are a lot of things that can go wrong on an aircraft. A lot of things that can go wrong in an aircraft. Now, um, well, why is this possible, right? Why why have we made airline travel so safe? Well, it's because we've spent a lot of time thinking about airline safety, right? We've spent a lot of time thinking about it, putting systems in place, putting processes in place. I'm using checklists, using, you know, there's not just one person in the cockpit, there's two, all these little things that we've done. Now, out of this kind of field of systems reliability and safety, there comes this basic idea, this basic understanding that I think most people in day-to-day life don't get. But for you as a business person or as a person trying to move through your life and trying to create success, it is critical to understand. Okay, so let's back up. How do we determine the reliability of a system? How do you determine how safe, for example, a system is going to be? All right. Now, let's say 
the system is just a bunch of units plus their interactions, right? Everything's a system. Your relationship with your significant other is a system. Your family is a system. Your business is a system. Your body is a system. The economy is a system. It's got a bunch of units, parts, and those parts interact. And the combination of those parts and their interactions is the system as a whole. All right, now let's imagine a very simple system, okay? And that's a light switch. Light switch is a relatively simple system. You switch the light switch up in the on position, the lights turn on. You switch it down, lights turn off. That is what the system is designed to do. And there are a variety of pieces in that system, but we're just going to make this as simple as possible. Let's just say the switch, it's one thing, one unit inside this system. There's one discrete part of this system, it's the switch. And if you're an electrician, <laughs> you know, investors have a lot of electrical knowledge. Typically, you're probably yelling at me that that's not the case. There's all these pieces behind the wall, Dan. It's not just the switch. I get it. We're making it simple, okay? We're making it simple. You'll see why in a minute. So the switch is the only part of that system, okay? And let's say that switch is 99.9% .9 reliable. What do we mean by that? Well, we mean that 99.9% .9 of the time when you switch the light switch on, the light turns on. And when you switch it off, the light turns off. You get the expected result 99.9% .9 of the time. And 99.9% .9 is pretty darn good. They're very rare to have things in real life that are that reliable, right? 99.9% .9 of the time. That's amazing. Now, let's say we want to uh, add something to this system. We want to add an element, okay? And the element we're going to add is human beings, all right? Now, let's imagine that we have a human being. You know, you ever do this thing where you walk into a room and you, <laughs> you hit the light switch like the wrong way? Sometimes I do this, right? So I don't know. And it's like, ah, I hit the wrong one or whatever. There's some kind of variability in my behavior towards this light switch. Sometimes I hit it right, sometimes I don't, okay? Now, let's assume you've got a very, very reliable person, very reliable person, and this person is 99.9% .9 reliable, exact same reliability as the light switch. Light switch was 99.9% .9 reliable. The human is 99.9% .9 reliable, okay, because we've got a really, really, really reliable human. What is the reliability now of the system that is composed of the light switch with 99.9% .9 reliability and the human who is 99.9% .9 reliable? Now, what we tend to think as people, right, are sort of like default mode of guessing what's going to happen here is that since you're combining something that's 99.9% .9 reliable and you're combining something else that's 99.9% .9 reliable, the overall reliability of the system should be 99.9%, .9%, but it isn't. It isn't. Because to find the reliability of a system, we multiply those two numbers together. And neither of those numbers is 100%. So if the light switch breaks, you know, point, uh, you know, 0.01% of the time, and the human's behavior changes 0.01% of the time, well, guess what? It's 0.02% of the time now that we have issues. Or to put this another way, 99.9% .9 reliable times 99.9% .9 reliable is 99.8% reliable. The entire system is less reliable than its least reliable piece. Let's think about this again. Let's say we add a third element to this system. Let's say there's some kind of device we put on top of the switch that the human being has to operate. So the switch is 99.9% .9 reliable, and the human is 99.9% .9 reliable, but let's say that this new device that we added is only 80% reliable. Still pretty good. 
So now we have 99.9% .9 reliable times 99.9% .9 reliable times 80% reliable. The entire system is now 79.8% reliable. Even though those first two elements are 99.9% .9 reliable, the entire system is less reliable than its least reliable piece. And the more pieces you add, even if every single piece is 99.9% .9 reliable, because nothing's perfect, even if every single piece is 99.9% .9 reliable for every single additional thing you add into the system, the outcome becomes less reliable. Here is the profound truth you need to internalize from systems reliability. Want to find motivated seller leads online, but don't know where to start? Download our free Motivated Seller Keyword Report today. AdWords nerds have spent over $5 million this year researching the most profitable keywords for finding motivated seller leads. And you can grab these exact keywords when you download our report at www.adwordsnerds.com slash keywords. The more things that need to go right, the less reliable the system is. If the light switch needs to go right, and the human's behavior needs to go right, and the device we put on top of the light switch needs to go right, that system is less reliable than if we only needed one thing to go right. The more things that need to go right for you to be successful, the less likely you are to be successful. Let's take this out of light switches and let's bring this into your life specifically. Let's say that in your head, you have a very specific idea of what success looks like. You need to have a, you know, a $10 million house. You need to be married to a supermodel, husband or wife. You need to have exactly two kids and they both need to be blonde. You need to have a black and white spotted dog. And you need to have a job where you only work four hours a day. Now, that's a great dream life. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. And I think it's fine to imagine a life like that. But if that's what you need in order to be successful, meaning that you have to have the house and the husband or wife and the kids and the dog and the job, that means this system of your life has five components, each of which are not 100% likely to occur. And we know the more elements you add to a system, the less reliable that system becomes. And so you have created, by creating this fantasy that has to happen for you to feel successful, you have created a situation in which you are unlikely to be successful. Maybe you get the house. Maybe you get the husband and wife. Maybe you get the kids. Maybe you get the job. Maybe you just couldn't find the dog. And all of a sudden, even though everything else worked out, you're a failure. The more pieces that need to go right for you to be successful, the less likely to be successful you are. Now, I started this podcast by saying I was going to tell you everything you need to know in order to guarantee your success. So here's the secret. Here's the secret. You want to guarantee you'll be successful? Don't require anything to go right. This is the secret that underlies all great religious traditions, particularly Buddhism. If you are not connected, to any particular outcome, guess what? You can always be happy and you can always feel successful. Now that's a profound spiritual truth, but it might not be super helpful for you. After all, I have goals, I have dreams, there are things I wanna be successful. So let's bring this back to 
something a little bit more applicable to your life and your investing business right now. The way to internalize this knowledge is to say it's not wrong to have goals and to want specific things in order to feel successful. We all do. What's important is you only keep the elements of that system that are critical. It's not important to me to have a particularly large house. I just don't care. It's not important to me to have a particular type of car. This is not something I care about. It would be nice, but I don't need it. So I'm very careful not to include those things in my definition of success. If I set up a situation in which I'm saying, well, look, everybody around me has a certain kind of car and a certain type of house and a certain type of lifestyle. Well, I need those things in order to be successful, but they're not really important to me. What I'm doing is adding elements to the system and decreasing the likelihood of my own success for nothing. I'm living someone else's life. And that is a recipe for failure. Instead, if you want to raise the certainty that you will be successful, what is most important is being extremely clear on what you really want. What truly defines success for you. And the fewer elements you can put in that definition of success, the fewer pieces that you can put in that definition of success, the fewer things that need to go right in order for you to be successful, the more likely to be successful you are. I hope that makes sense. I hope this was useful. This has been something I think about a lot in my life, and I hope it's useful in yours. And look, on this podcast, we usually talk about online marketing. This podcast was secretly about online marketing. If you can figure out the application, I encourage you to do that because that's something we do over at AdWords Nerds every single day. Like I said, if you want to come and talk to our team about improving your online marketing for motivated sellers, please do so. It's at adwordsnerds.com. We would love to have you. Other thing, we've got a free Facebook group. It's at adwordsnerds.com slash group. And hey, did you know I'm on YouTube? I've been doing videos on there. I'm really proud of the work I've been doing on YouTube. Just go on YouTube and type in AdWords Nerds. You'll find us. As always, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you listening. And I will talk to you next week. Cheers. This is the podcastfactory.com.